Yo, hello there, what's going on YouTube and welcome back my fellow picture ladies and welcome back to another Minecraft Pixel tour build on Pain from the Ruto Shibiton. As you can see in today's part, part 12, we're going to be finishing off the rest of the outline, so it's going to be quite short today. And we're going to be finishing off the hair and the headband coming down. And in the next part, we'll finally be moving on to colouring again the build. With all of that being said, without further ado, we're going to be using the same blocks as per usual. So our black concrete and our gold block. And for today's area, we're going to be flying all the way back over to the right. To that one bottom right diagonal up here. So, flying all the way into what's here. Once again, if you haven't hit that like button on this video yet, make sure to go and do that. That's much appreciated. And also, if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to go and subscribe. It helps out a lot and gets us closer to that 1000 sub goal. Once again though, once you have flown to this one bottom right diagonal right here. We are going to do another bottom right diagonal from here. And there you go. So as you can see, it looks like we've got two bottom right diagonals in total. From this bottom right diagonal that we just did right here, we're going to place one black concrete going underneath. And there you go. But once you place this one underneath right here, we're then going to do four bottom right diagonals from here. So one, two, three, and four. And there you go. Once you've done this fourth bottom right diagonal, we're going to place one black concrete going underneath from here. And there we go. Once you place this one black concrete underneath right here, we're then going to do two bottom right diagonals from here. So one and two. And there you go. And once you've done the second bottom right diagonal, we're then going to place one black concrete going underneath from here. And there we go. Once we place this one underneath right here, we're going to do another two bottom right diagonals from here. So one and two. And there you go. Once you're doing the second bottom right diagonal, we're then going to place another one black concrete going underneath from here. Just like so. And then once you place this one underneath right here, we're then going to do seven bottom right diagonals from here. So one, two, three, four, five six and seven and there you go once you've done the seven bottom right diagonal right here we're going to place one black concrete going underneath just like so or once you place this one underneath right here we're only going to do three bottom right diagonals so one two and three and there you go or once you've done this third bottom right diagonal we're only going to place one black concrete going to the right from here just like so once you place this one to the right, we're then going to place three black concrete going up from here. So one, two, and three. And there you go. Once you place three on top, we're then going to do an up left diagonal. And there you go. Once you've done this up left diagonal right here, we're then going to place 13 black concrete going up from here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, and 13, and there you go. Once you have placed 13 black concrete on top, we're then going to place one to the right, and then once you place this one to the right, we're then going to fly back into the left by one, so back to this up left corner right here, and once you've flown back here, we're going to place one black concrete on top of here, and there you go. Once you have placed this one black concrete on top, we're going to do another up left diagonal from here, just like so and once you've done this up left diagonal we're going to place six black concrete on top of here so one two three four five and six and there you go once you have placed six black concrete on top right here we're then going to do an up left diagonal from here just like so and once you've done this up left diagonal we're then going to place six black concrete on top of here so one two three four five and six and there you go once you place six on top we're then going to do another up left diagonal just like so and this time we're going to place two black concrete going up from here so one and two and there you go once you place this two on top right here we're then done with this area so we're going to zoom out and we're going to fly all the way back to that one black concrete sticking out to the right back down here so flying all the way back down to here once you have flown to this one black concrete sticking out to the right, right here, we're then going to do six bottom right diagonals from here. So one, two, 
three, four, five, and six. And there you go. Once you've done the sixth bottom right diagonal right here, when I get to place one black concrete going underneath, just like so. Once you place this one underneath, when I get to place one going to the right, and then once you place this one to the right, when I get to fly back into the left by one, so back to this bottom left corner right here. And once you've flown back to this bottom left corner, we're then going to place 19 going underneath from here. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and 19. And there you go. Once you have placed 19 going underneath right here, we're then going to do a bottom left diagonal from here, just like so. And then once you've done this bottom left diagonal, we're then going to place six black concrete going underneath from here. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. And there you go. As you can see right there, if you place six black concrete going underneath right here, and if it connects in a bottom left diagonal direction to the one black concrete that was sticking up right here all the way on the right end, that means we have done everything correctly right here which means we've marked out the edge of the headband and that part is finished right there obviously though we're still not done quite yet because we need to go and finish off the hair so without further ado once you have connected to that bottom left diagonal direction to that one sticking up we're then going to fly all the way back up to the one black concrete sticking out to the right all the way up here so flying back to this point and there we go once you have flown to this one black concrete sticking out to the right right here, we're then going to do seven bottom right diagonals from here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, just like so. Once you've done the seventh bottom right diagonal right here, we're then going to place one black concrete to the right, just like so. And then once you place this one to the right, we're then going to place one underneath, and then once he places one underneath, we're then going to fly back up by one, so back up to this upright corner right here, and once you've flown back to this upright corner, we're then going to place three black concrete on top, so one, two, and three, and there you go. Once you've placed three black concrete on top right here, we're then going to do an up left diagonal, just like so, and once you're doing this up left diagonal, we're then going to place three black concrete on top, so one, two, and three, just like so. And once you place three black concrete on top, do another up left diagonal from here, and there you go. Once you've done this up left diagonal, place one black concrete on top of here, and there you go. Once you place that one black concrete on top, we're going to do another up left diagonal from here, just like so, and from this up left diagonal. We're then going to place five on top of here. So one, two, three, four, and five. And there you go. Once you place five black concrete on top of that up left diagonal, we're then going to do another up left diagonal from here. This time we're going to place two on top. So one and two, just like so. And once you place this two on top, do another up left diagonal from here. And there you go. Once you've done this up left diagonal right here, we're then going to place two black concrete on top of here. So one and two, just like so. Once you place two on top, we're then going to place one to the right. And once you place this one to the right, we're then going to fly back into the left by one. So back to this up left corner. And we're then going to place one black concrete on top. And there you go. Once you place one black concrete on top, do an up left diagonal from here. And once you've done this up left diagonal, we're going to place three black concrete on top of here. So one, two, and three. And there you go. Once you place three black concrete on top, do another up left diagonal. And then we're going to place another three black concrete on top of here. So one, two, and three. And there you go. Once you place this three on top right here, do another up left diagonal. And this time place two black concrete on top of here. So one and two. And there you go. Once you've done this, we're then done with this part right here, so we then can zoom out, and we're going to fly all the way back down to the one black concrete sticking out to the right, so all the way back down to here. Once you've flown back down to this one black concrete sticking out to the right, we're then going to place another 
five black concrete going to the right from here. So one, two, three, four, and five. And there you go. Once you place that five going to the right, do a bottom right diagonal from here. And there you go. Once you've done this bottom right diagonal, we're then going to place another five black concrete going to the right from here. So one, two, three, four, and five, just like so. Once you place this five to the right, do another bottom right diagonal from here. And there you go. Once you've done this bottom right diagonal, we're going to place four black concrete going to the right from here. So one, two, three, and four. Once you place this fourth one to the right, do another bottom right diagonal from here. And then once you've done this bottom right diagonal, we're going to place seven going to the right from here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And there you go. Once you place seven to the right, we're then going to place one black concrete on top, just like so. And once you place this one on top, we're then going to do six up left diagonals from here. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. And there you go. Once you've done this six foot left diagonal right here, we're then going to place one black concrete going to the left, just like so. Once you place this one going to the left right here, we're then going to do eight up left diagonals from here. So one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, and eight. And there you go. Once you're doing this eight up left diagonal right here, we're then going to place one black concrete going to the left, just like so. And once you place this one to the left, we're then going to do two up left diagonals from here. So one and two. And there you go. Once you're doing the second up left diagonal, place one black concrete to the left. Just like so. And once you place this one to the left right here, we're then going to do four up left diagonals from here. So one, two, three, and four. And there you go. Once you've done this fourth up left diagonal, we're going to place one black concrete going to the left from here. And there you go. Once you place this one to the left, we're then going to do an up left diagonal from here. Just like so. Once you've done this up left diagonal right here, we're going to place one black concrete going to the left from here, just like so. Once you place this one to the left, we're then going to fly back into the right by one. So back to this point right here, so the up left diagonal. And once you've flown back to here, we're going to do an up right diagonal from here. And there we go. Once you've done this up right diagonal right here, we're going to place one black concrete going to the right, just like so. Once you place this one to the right right here, we're then going to repeat this two right here, two more times going in an up right diagonal direction. So do an up right diagonal, place one black concrete to the right, just like so. And then another up right diagonal, and another one to the right, and that's two. And there you go. Once you have done this right there, as you can see we shouldn't have three in total. And technically if you include this one here it is four. But as you can see we do have three from here, so one, two, and three. And if you have got three, that means we've done everything correctly so far. And that is the final part of the outline done. So without further ado, before we end the video, we'll zoom out. Just to make sure that we've done everything correctly, we're going to take out our gold block. And from this very top two right here, we're just going to go all the way to the left from here. And we should connect all of the way to that one black concrete or the two that's sticking out to the right up there. So without further ado, we're just going to fly all the way to the left with our gold block. Place another way along just to make sure we're in line and everything is done correctly. Now, you don't actually have to count the specific amount of gold blocks. If you do, you can do that, and I'll put a number on the screen, but you really don't need to do that because you already know you should have gone correctly to the right if you have done everything correct so far in this video and everything has connected. And there you go. As you can see, we have gone all the way to the left and we are in line with those three upright diagonals and the very top one which means we have done everything correctly so far. So now we can just go and destroy those gold blocks again as we don't need those anymore. And then after this, we are just gonna zoom out and have a look at everything in frame. 
which today's part was definitely a lot shorter, but there's no point moving on to the shade again because that's a lot of work to do, and it's easier to do that separate. And there we go, so without further ado, let's go and zoom out and see everything in frame and see this beautiful design all done. Well, half done, you could say. Apart from, it's not like there's going to be another 12 parts. It'll be at most 3 or 4, but you kind of know how these videos go at this point. With that being said, though, there is everything in frame right there for pain. With that being said, we're just going to quickly cut so you can see it nicely in frame with all the, you know, hands gone and all that. So without further ado, let's cut that nice and quick. And there you go. As you can see, we just quickly cut to the hands being removed, which if you want to have to do that, just go into settings and your options and you can just hide your hub and hand and all that stuff but there you go there is everything in frame right there fully complete i gotta say this build is looking really nice actually looking really clean even without the colors being shaded in which we'll be doing that in the next part and we'll be starting with the clothing first which is actually going to be really easy because there's like pretty much no shading at all with that so without further ado that is everything for today so far if you have enjoyed this build again make sure to go hit that like button if you haven't already also make sure to subscribe and quickly just before i left now i've already probably put this in a community post because i want to kind of see everyone's opinions on this for those that haven't seen this or for those that already have make sure to go to the community page or let me know in the comments down below what you think of crunchyroll buying out funimation's license because that's that's pretty big as a big anime watcher myself i think it's pretty good because i for one actually used to pay for both subscriptions but in the end i stopped paying for funimation because they didn't offer as much as crunchyroll and now the fact that i still pay for crunchyroll and crunchyroll now has funimation rights and literally have all the animes from there and i don't think funimation is anymore which i haven't actually had a look if funimation is like completely gone but i'm pretty sure it's completely gone as it did say crunchyroll bought out everything from Funimation. With that being said, let me know in the comments down below and go to the community post if you think it's good or bad, this change. Personally, myself, I think it's really good. That means a lot more anime is going to be coming out just to one site, and it's nice for us as well who are premium members, so we only have to pay one subscription and not two for two different sites. With that being said, that is everything today. Without further ado, peace out, enjoy the rest of your day, and goodbye.